Hi everyone, this is Laura, and today I wanted to show you these tags that I made at Stamp Fever, and it was Frank Garcia's uh, Sweet Peppermint Prima class. And um, I was so excited to meet him, and he is super duper sweet, and um, he is just an amazing designer, as you can tell. And so um, let me show you guys some of the things that he gave us. Um, we got his whole new line, and um, this is the ephemera pack, which we didn't use anything of except the um, couple stickers that came um, off of here. And then this is all the rest of the chipboard and flowers and twigs and that kind of stuff, berries that are left over from the class. So you can see there's a lot there. And then um, this package of the berries and um, leaves and then there um, was these really pretty um, mint gosh I can't think you guys it's so late sorry um, these mint sequins and also this little jar with the um, the glitter in it and there's a little tree and then there's this little house charm right here um, but let me also say that um, I took this class with um, Tammy and Anna and Van, and um, it was awesome to be with you girls today, and I wanted to show you guys the beautiful bracelet that um, Anna made for me. So I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Anna. And um, then let me just show you guys also the paper that we got to use. So it's called Sweet Peppermint. And um, there is this plaid with um, this, this side here, and the side is so pretty, but this is the side we used, the plaid. Um, and then we used this one right here, and then that's the other side, which is really pretty also. This one, the um, snowflakes, and then there was this side that was um, really pretty, which we didn't use. And then um, we pretty much used all the pattern paper. So um, then this polka dot one and then this. But I did get to save a couple of these here. So um, these were made on a really thick um, chipboard that I guess Prima sells. And um, everything was like triple layered and uh, very dimensional. And the quality of these tags are just super duper nice. And um, I went in with the intentions of making these for family and friends. But I'm going to be keeping these for myself because they were a lot of work and I'm in love with them. So um, it did get me in the Christmas spirit and also in the spirit of layering and using flowers and stuff, which I haven't done in so long. So um, I'm excited to, um, you know try some more. Um, so let me just show you guys these really quickly. This one here um, has this beautiful Tim Holtz reindeer on grunge board. Wait, grunge board? I can't remember now if that's what it's called. But um, we had to paint it white and then um, put the glitter all over it and then make the little scarf for him, a little jingle bell. There's a birdie there and then this beautiful cluster of flowers and then um, the liquid pearls here all the way around which I didn't have red so I just used my platinum and silver um, which I think looks really pretty and it's better than nothing but um, then look at this one with red so this is how he um, showed it actually um, he did his in like red and white alternating and they looked absolutely beautiful and he didn't do this many um, but I guess I got carried away uh, but anyway, this one here says stay warm. It's on this really piece of pretty piece of velvet. I mean, not velvet. Um, you guys, I'm just messing up because I'm so tired. Uh, and I just watched the debate, which um, I'm sure everybody in America is aggravated with. But anyway, uh, here is some glittered felt. That's what I was trying to say. And um, we made these little wreaths and put all these little pearls on paint and all this stuff on it. So we had to do pretty much everything from scratch because, um, yeah, that's what the tags looked like before. So um, 
I'm just like super impressed with making a wreath even because I've never even done that before. This one right here is a Santa chipboard piece behind there and there's a little candy cane and this cute cluster of flowers, which I love this flower. And um, it says happy holidays right here. So you can see how pretty that is. And then this was the first one we did. Um, I don't know if I even have a favorite, but um, I really do like this one. It says warm and cozy. There's this cute mitten here. And um, some of these flowers are like a pearlescent. And I just love the coloring of this line um, because you know, if this, well, that does look like a poinsettia, but some of these things don't even look Christmassy, and I love that. Um, there's this one here that says joy, and there's a cute little Christmas tree right there, and there's these little sticks um, with like a little bit of white paint and glitter on it um, that was just such a cute touch. I love this flower right here with the print, and um, so yeah, there's that one, and then this one right here has this cute little um, rhinestones and I don't know I just really really love this tag I love all of them though um, this one right here was challenging to do the Santa face um, this is the Tim Holtz Santa and I don't know it was um, kind of hard but it's really really cute and I kind of want the die on that too and I love this flower right here with the stripes and um, I put glossy accents there, but um, we were supposed to glitter it. But um, anyway, so that says so jolly. Uh, so that um, is what the tags look like from Frank Garcia's class. I love taking the class. Take it if you, if you can ever get into one of his classes, take it. You will absolutely love it. And um, you guys, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.